Hey guys, Mario vs. Peach here, welcoming you back to, for the final time, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. In the last episode, we did everything we could in the Great Maze. And in this episode, we're going to finally go and take down Taboo. And here we go, we finally get to be Sonic the Hedgehog. He made an unexpected appearance. Although, if you had the internet, you probably knew he was in this game. Alright, so we're going to have Mario, Peach, Sonic, and... We get six characters, so I'm going to go Link. I'm going to go Pikachu, and we're going to go, finally, Wario. So, Sonic is my second favourite character, so of course he's going to be in this. Now, Taboo has several attacks, and the harder the difficulty, the more damage he does, and he teleports all over the place. So, just try to avoid him. Do not get caught in any of his attacks, especially in the harder difficulties. This attack here, he pulls out a gun and a fire in his laser. Do not get hit by that attack. It can still potentially kill you, but there is one attack you have to definitely watch out for, which is the off waves. One, two, three. If you time his jumps, uh, his waves right, you can dodge it, but if you get hit by it, it's an insta kill. No matter what. No matter what difficulty you're playing on, that is his grab attack. That can potentially kill you as well. Here he will pound the ground. So just try to chuck something at him or stay behind if you've got someone like Fox who can deal some damage with projectiles. Just do it. But I think we should be okay with Mario. Jeez. But it's Taboo. The one who has been the whole time masterminding the attack on subspace. I mean, on all the world of trophies. So, I guess... I'm going to show him just why you don't mess with a group of Nintendo characters who love their world too much. So once he starts getting lower, he'll start attacking more frequently. Alright, I guess it's up to Sonic. This kind of has a We Will Rock You kind of vibe to it. So he starts getting stronger. Whoa, that's Sonic gone. He didn't last very long. Alright, can the princess do it? What? Wow, I am failing hard now. Come on, don't let the nerves get to you. Like I said, once he starts losing health, his attacks start getting stronger and stronger. I think that's how he works, but... Alright, and here is his multi-clone attack. That it can be a very, very big pain to avoid, and... I couldn't grab that for the life of me. Oh, well, at least we get to use all our characters. Ugh, just made it out of that one. And one, two, three. Nope. Bang. There we go, guys. We defeated Taboo. It's all over.
And there we have it, guys. That's Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I did it. We did it. You did it. He did it. She did it. We beat Taboo. I guess now, my thoughts on the project. It was good. It took a little long because my update schedule was so rapid and sometimes I uploaded heaps and then sometimes I didn't and then uh, I guess that's how it works though, but we got it done. Yeah, so Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it offers a very good story for what it is. And as you heard there, you saw what the lyrics of the theme song meant. We get an awesome jingle in the background of this credits. I, I, I like the adventure mode of this game. It, it's good, you know, it's fantastic, you know. It's not that much different to what Melee's adventure mode was. It's just that it was a bit too much at times, you know. Like, you have your... I, I expected there to be a bit more of a genre change. Like, you know, sometimes you were in Mario's world, then sometimes you were in Donkey Kong's world, then sometimes you were, you were in Samus's world with low gravity. But I understand, you know, it's a fighting game. You can't pack that much into it because you might as well like have some sort of whole different mode you know um I don't know I've still got Jack and Daxter obviously going on after this and I have Mario Kart Wii which we updated once a week or possibly twice a week but I am also probably going to um just do maybe the all-star modes of both melee and brawl but, we aren't done yet. Oh no, we're not. Just because the credits have rolled, does not mean we have finished. So, once these credits have finished, we're going to get back into it. And we're going to go and find some characters that we might recognize. But... For those of you who are stopping here, I thank you for watching, and until we meet again, may all your games be good. We unlocked Sonic the Hedgehog! Hey guys, welcome back. I told you it wasn't the end, so... We have to now go back, because there are some characters we haven't gotten yet. And I think we need to go get them, so... I guess, first of all, we're going to tackle... Hmm... What are we going to do? I guess we're going to do the Swamp first. I'm going to do it on easy, and we're going to have Sonic, because he can run fast, and... I don't really want to be blasting through so much of the level. You know, I don't really want to be going too much into it. Um, Alright, so we've got three characters which can only be found once we've finished the main game. So, once you finish the main game, head back to the swamp. There are three characters which we need to find and they're both all located in different locations. I, myself, don't remember all of them, but that's why the internet is very helpful. So, if I do get stuck, I will be rocking the old know how okay so we just basically want to go through these levels to, for normal I'm gonna cut back to when we get up to the parts where we need to be okay guys we're back and I'm pretty much in the swamp excuse the character change and excuse everything else because things happen so yeah all right and if we enter this door We have Jigglypuff. So, pretty much you now face them in a character battle. If you win, you unlock the character. If you don't, then you have to do everything again in order to unlock them. Which is why I did it on easy. I mean, I've already unlocked these characters, but hey, i got to do it for you guys. Alright, I decided to chuck, blah, blah, chuck, tackle Jigglypuff first because I didn't want to, um... I didn't want to have to come here later and stuff because... This is the one, the one of the more tedious people to unlock. Uh, just because you have to go back, and it's annoying. There we go, she slowed herself down, so I think I can get a smash attack in. 
There we go. Just one more should do it, and she should be gone. Right, so this pretty much acts like a um, just a normal bat match. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing too simple. I mean, nothing too difficult. Sorry, nothing too simple. The words they do not work. They've never worked in this let's play. There we go. That's Jigglypuff done. So I will meet you guys now when we tackle the next character, which will be in the uh, the forest. That's where we're going to go. But I don't think it's too far. So I'm just going to check. I might save here just in case, just to be sure. Just to be sure. And we're going to go to the forest. There we are. Because this is where our next character is. Uh, we're going to be... I want to tackle him pretty simply, but I also need someone who's good. That's the thing, because the character you enter the door with is the character that you fight the match with, base, in a sense. So, if you pick a bad character, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> if, I can, if I can say that. So, yeah, alright. First door we want to enter. I think it's the first... Practically the first one in here. I don't know why I didn't go for this one first, but hey, leave the easy ones for later. Man, I can't believe we've pretty much ended this LP now. Jeez. I still remember starting it. All those basically two months ago now. And into here. And Toon Link has spotted us. Yes, it's Toon Link, more famous from the Wind Waker series. He replaces Young Link in this game. It's pretty much the same guy, but hey, I guess it's a whole different character, if that's what you want to call it. Um, he's basically like, he's, I like him, I like being him more than I do being Link. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. Alright. So we're going to quickly take care of this guy, and then the, oh boy, that catapult is very dangerous. No! No. These are assist trophies, you probably didn't see them in the normal game. Basically a cameo character appears and helps you out and attacks for you and whatnot, blah blah blah. But there's no point in me getting into that because we're so much, pretty much finished with this game now, so I don't want to get hit by that. Toon Link, go away. And there. Oh no! That was a stupid idea. Um, cut. I I actually decided against cutting back to it, guys, just because all it is is a rat match, and it's not like I need to unlock him. But I've shown you where he is, so that's what I'm going to do. If I lose this next one, the last one is in the ruins. So, it's... I forget how far into it it is, but, yeah, let's... Might actually be Sonic. Sonic doesn't seem to be having a good time. Um, yeah, unfortunately we don't have Toon Link added to our roster. I might go back and get him just before the video, just before the episode ends, just because I don't want you guys to, you know, miss out on having to see what a full, complete roster of characters look like, you know? Alright, so if we head down. Just gonna wait a bit. Whee! Sonic the Hedgehog, you could probably run faster than that, but who cares? Alright, I'm not too sure how far this um, thing is, so I'm gonna cut to when I get there. Just so you guys don't have to see me doing the same thing over and over again. Alright, and here it is, guys. As you fall down that shaft after, it's just a small cutscene so it doesn't really matter. After you fall down that shaft after fighting those metal primates, it's your first door. I am facing off against Wolf with Jigglypuff. I also be Wolf. I be a lot of the secret characters. Wolf I like. He, oh, man, I versed him against my brother once and I thrashed him. Which is why I personally like being him. I like being character, excuse my dog in the background if you guys can hear her. She's hurt someone, so... Yeah, I can't do nothing about it. I don't want to yell at her during recording. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to win this, to be honest. But if not, oh well, that'll end the episode. But yeah, pretty simple. Just try to beat him. I wouldn't recommend going in as Jigglypuff. 
just because of how she is. But I might be able to show off. This is a final smash. Final smashes are the equivalents of the the finishes in Mortal Kombat series. So if we do this, here we go, bang. But Jigglypuff sucks, sort of. So it doesn't really work. Now we're gonna charge this up one more time. Whoa! Come on, come on. Oh, I'm not gonna win this. I can tell you now. Oh, come on. No. Oh well. I showed you guys where they were anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I might go back. It's not a 100% run, so whether I get the character or not doesn't really matter. But that's it, guys. That's every single thing that I can show you in this game, apart from classic mode and all that other stuff which I'll get into eventually. So I go I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you stuck around to the right of the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.